Welcome back uh, to Coach's Corner here at the University of Sioux Falls. Uh, ben Krush, Assistant Athletic Director. Today I am proudly <laughs> next to Coach Domino of the women's soccer team. Uh, Coach, we're going to get right into it. Sounds good. First question. This is the most important question, um, and it really starts off the interview with a bang. Sets the tone. That's right. Uh, favorite cereal of all time? This is a big one. Mm -hmm. In our house, we kind of, I get my own box, my husband gets his own box okay. weekly, and we don't really share. Okay. Of all time, whew, I would say, so this is going to tell you a lot about myself, mm -hmm. Reese's um, peanut butter. Puffs. Yep, puffs. Gosh, wonderful, <laughs> Really wonderful healthy cereal. stuff. Well, cereal cereal's <laughs> never meant to be healthy. Exactly. Right. Uh, okay. So let's go a little more personal. Okay. Best soccer moment in your playing career? Ooh. <laughs> High school, possibly, mm -hmm. I would say. Tell uh, us about that moment. Well, so my junior year. We won state high school soccer, mm -hmm. um, and I we went to overtime with the team that actually beat the only team that beat us all year long. Mm -hmm. um, and it was overtime. We got it was like a thirty mile an hour wind, of course, good old Kansas. Mm -hmm. And um, was we had to go against it. So then we were all kind of panicking, and we actually in the first two minutes, I actually kind of dribbled down the middle of the field, was able to find my one teammate, and she scored. It was kind of golden goal, so it was over. Yeah. So I think I know it's not. I mean, high school soccer, but still, it was a great, I think, moment. Just yep. ended kind of that senior class ended up leaving, and mm -hmm. so it was like a good, yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, will Team USA men mm. ever eclipse Team USA women in accomplishments? I think until the, in accomplishments, probably not. Mm -hmm. But even to get close to mm -hmm. them, the idea of, men's soccer in the United States would have to change and that's a big mindset change sure. um, to make. So U.S. women's soccer is a big priority on girls soccer. It's one of the top sports young female athletes play. Mm -hmm. Men's soccer is probably fourth or fifth on the list. Right. Um, so that whole mindset on soccer has to change before the, you see that quality change at the top level sure. and that's going to be a big, so I, that's tough. You would need a complete culture change is what you're Correct. saying. Correct. Gotcha. Before you'd ever get to that point. Most proud moment as a coach? As a coach? Hmm. Now you're testing me here. Mm -hmm. um, I think last season we had a lot of those moments just with like, talking about culture changes. Just we, last year we got started to get that culture change among our team, and there was lots of games. Well, I'd say the Augie game. At the end of the year last year, second half, um, we came back. We were kind of getting, they were on top of us that first mm -hmm. half. They had a lot of possession. Second half, the mentality change. It was a great. It was the last half of that season. Mm -hmm. um, so to see that mentality change, and we ended up losing one nothing overtime, but we outshot yeah. on that half. We so we showed that kind of competitiveness mm -hmm. um, that we've been looking for as coaching staff. Yeah. Um, so I think that would be one good to set the tone for this next year and exciting. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say that is awesome. Yeah. So favorite women's national team player, former or current? I mean, growing up. You see my lovely Julie Foudy book I have on mm -hmm. my desk. Yep. I would say Julie Foudy was always one of my favorites growing up, just watching. Just mm -hmm. um, And she was on that good 99 team that had a lot of accomplishments. So I think for me, that's the first player that comes in mind. Currently, there's a new player, Rose Lavelle, that I really like. She's mm -hmm. a girl who just graduated out of Wisconsin recently. Mm -hmm. um, very creative, technical level. Different than kind of your normal U.S. soccer player who's just we're typically more athletic, we're not quite as skilled, sure. um, and she kind of brings both those things to the game, so she's sure. been fun to watch recently. Wonderful, wonderful. Last question for today, <laughs> okay. and this is, a, this is a zany question, Okay. <laughs> but you're going to nail it. Okay. <laughs> Penguin walks through this door wearing a sombrero. <laughs> Ooh. What does he say? Why is he here? What does he say? Why is he here? Yep. Hmm. Well, Ola, of course, Perfect. has to introduce himself. In front of a, in front of a woman, yes. Yes. Yep. Be a, gen be a gentleman, <laughs> Penguin. Be a gentleman, Penguin. Why is he here? Why is he here? Um. Wants to walk on the soccer team? Maybe, wow. You know, As a male him. penguin? Maybe. You never know. Interesting. <laughs> practice player. Don't they have male practice players yes, in basketball? Do. Yes, they do. So why not? Yeah. You know, 
like soccer, wants to learn a little more about mm -hmm. what we've got to offer you. E excellent. Yeah. Probably not your fastest player. That's okay. We don't, we're not all fast. Nope, that's true. Yeah. Sturdy though. Can Very. Be hard to knock down. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Solid. Well, I'm excited for this penguin now to show up. <laughs> penguin. That's all for us on Coach's Corner. <laughs> Here at the University of Sioux Falls, Coach Domino, thank you very yep, much for joining you. us. And we'll be back next month.